What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Randy here, RTSMall.com, bringing you a fantastic video today. I am recording with my brand new microphone, my brand new camera, and my brand new stupid ring light, so I hope you like it. If you don't, uh, feel free to, uh, to keep that to yourself, because it costs me a lot of money. Uh, anyways, happy Friday. I am wearing the most colorful shirt that I could find. Uh, I, know, I look beautiful, I know. Uh, I can't walk down Sunset Boulevard, but I sure look good. And if you didn't get that joke, I will not be explaining it. Please refer to the toxic comments below for clarification. Now, I am running my brand new Balgorn. This thing is absolutely domination in a cup. If you could put domination in a cup, it would be the Balgorn. This is the uncrowned emperor of 1 vs 1 PvP, of 1 vs 10 PvP. Whatever you want to do, this is the best ship to do it in, okay? And I'll tell you why. I'm running 200 and uh, 2,419.85 DPS cold, okay? I'm running almost 150,000 EHP cold. This guy is a god. Uh, with uh, navigation rigs, I'm at 187 meters per second. Uh, and it really is a slow uh, flying turd that wears the Emperor's crown because it hits for a minimum of 7,500 damage cold. And that's like hitting hull and shield, uh, hull and armor. When I'm hitting shield, you'll see hits at like 15,000, okay? Depending on whether I penetrate or glance or whatever, all right? So, uh, what are we doing? By the way, special shout out to the Pandemic Alliance, Christian Bishop, uh, and all the gens over at Pan. Love you guys a long time. Thanks for having us. We just joined a couple weeks ago, and we are loving it. Uh, stay tuned for a fantastic video uh, this weekend. Uh, later today, actually, I can't give you the exact time or the location, but you can count on a 1500 ship battle. It's going to be the biggest shadow, uh, biggest battle in Eve Echo's history. So stay tuned. It's going to be fantastic. Okay. So as far as the fittings on my ship, what am I running? Well, first, I'm running uh, seven large pulse lasers. This is the Brokara's large pulse laser. Its base DPS is 63.91. Uh, and with all the bonuses, you can see it's 335 damage. Uh, DPS per pulse laser with all the bonuses, okay? I'm running dual heat sinks here uh, to give myself massive damage boost and the activation time is really the key because when I pop all my cooldowns, I'll be firing at 3.52 uh, seconds activation time per shot. I'm running a tracking computer because I want to get a little bit extra range and a little bit more tracking speed. I also want this bonus multiplier because when I activate this and I hit a frigate with my web and I pop the tracking computer, I am now at like 60% additional tracking speed, plus they're slowed, so I can hit a small ship uh, at like 7 range, you know, 5 to 7 range. I can hit them every 3.5 seconds for 7,500 damage. I could basically, basically blow up three frigates in the time that this is active. I'm running an armor rep because why not? I'm a big slow flying turd with an emperor crown. People are going to shoot me. I need to repair. And I'm running an afterburner because I do need to move faster, okay? Uh, for the mid slots, this is really the important part because this is, again, the king of E-War. I am running a Nosferatu, which is going to steal 432 gig joules every 10 seconds. I'm also running dual large energy neutralizers, which are going to zap you for 1,300 gigajoules every 24 seconds. Um... So that means my first rotation on you, I'm literally, I, I'm literally hitting you for over 3,000 energy cap drain between the two newts and the Nosferatu. And then after that, every 24 seconds, you're basically getting hit for another uh, 3,500 gigajoules of energy zapping every 24 seconds. That's two rotations of Nosferatu. Okay, it's this thing is a god. And look at the look at the range on this. By the way, I can zap you. At over 45, well, all right, I can zap you at 45 kilometers or less. I can drain you to nothing at 45 kilometers or less. I also have the webifier here, which does fantastic webification. 62% uh, uh, flight velocity adjustment reduction at 15.4 kilometers. So if you come in close, you're done. I'm running the Moon Tech Warp Scrambler for 6 Warp Scram strength, again at 15.63 kilometers. And I'm running dual uh, hammerhead drones because they do have kinetic damage, which are a nice complement to my laser damage weapons, okay? As far as the rigs, 
I am running uh, Laser Collision, which is going to give me 20% additive damage bonus, okay? Uh, and I'm running Dual Laser Burst Aerator 4s, which are going to give me a total of 22.5 faster percent uh, firing speed. I'm also running one Speed Auxiliary Thruster Flight Velocity Adjustment. I'm running one Inertia Modifier, the Polycarbon Housing Engine. Engine Housing. And I'm running a targeting uh, system because... The flight speed, inertia, and targeting of a battle cruiser is extremely poor. So I need these to be uh, competitive. Now let's go hit some ANOMs. I want to show you guys this damage. This is the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. I have literally never seen as much damage as this ship can put out. Uh, it's, it's astronomical. So let's check it out because you guys are probably going to explode on the inside and, and pop like little, uh, like little blueberries under a boot. Go to the ANOM here. Just the, uh, all right. We'll just jump into the 9K. Oh, I well, I got a little close. I got a little bit too close. I wanted meant to jump at like 30, but I don't care. We'll be fine. And just so you know, um, all right, okay, all right, we're warping, we're warping. Just so you know, I am running all of the battle settings on auto, <laughs> on auto. Because I just want to talk to you about this ship while it blaps people in the face. So the whole goal is, of course, this is a PvP setup. So you're not going to really see the full, uh, the full capabilities of the neutralization strength. But just keep in mind, I zap you for 3,000 gigajoules worth of energy drain on second one. And then every 24 seconds after that, I'm averaging over 3,500 gigajoules of energy cap drain. Um... It's really just astronomical, so I can't I can't say enough how insanely powerful this thing is. Did I already kill some of these? Oh, I already killed a couple. Great. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the auto lock button and just start shooting things in the face because that's a great idea. We're gonna just pop pretty much everything. Just gonna pop everything, and I'm gonna blap that guy for ten thousand damage just because. Look at that. This damage is insane. Do you see that? Look at that. Just consistently. And this is hitting whole, by the way. This is not hitting. i just going to one-shot that condor. Let's kill. Oh, 13,000 14, damage. Did you see that? That was insane. Oh, my God. This thing is a god. Oh, my God. What's my hot DPS? What is the hot DPS? 3,830 DPS. 0.53. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> And that is, by the way, for 44 seconds. Look at this. 44 seconds of activation time with my skills maxed out for the heat sinks. That's insane. That's literally insane. I don't even know what to do. So this thing is a god mode. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's crazy how strong this ship is. I literally don't even know what to do. This guy is, is, is God's gift. Um... 16,000! Not even hot! I wasn't even hot! Did you see that? Wow. I bet you if I'm running double hots, I can probably pop 20,000 damage on a, on a shield like this with a lot of shields. On a ship like this with a lot of shields, I bet you I could pop 20,000 damage. That was crazy. So again, I am capturing you for a 3,500 average gigajoule drain uh, every 24 seconds. That's like 7,500 gigajoules of drain a minute. That's huge. I can drain a battle cruiser to nothing in three minutes, okay? Uh, and I am just blapping everything in the face right now. Just so much damage, it's insane, okay? So, listen, I'm not going to make this video that long. This has been a fun video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, give me the like and sub. Check out Pandemic. Uh, we have a cool recruit video up now. Check it out. If you want to join, contact uh, True Beast, uh, Christian's True Beast handle in-game. Or uh, hit me up, hit me up in Discord, whatever. We are accepting recruits, uh, always willing to get some fantastic PvP pilots. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for that massive battle in uh, whatever, uh, some number of hours. I'll tell you what, it's less than 24 hours from now, so just watch my feed because I will be live streaming with a delay. Um, but thanks for watching. Let's get, let's go hot. Let's blap this MOA. Just. You get to watch me blap the mow in the face hot real quick before I before I hop off. Was ah oh, that was un unsuccessful. Nine thousand damage. 
You know what it is? It's because he didn't have he didn't have a, a, that many shields. So by the, oh, I guess I could hit the Ferox pretty hard, probably. Well, I'll take ten. It's not as nice as the sixteen, but I'll take the ten. Maybe if I track the tracking computer, I'll hit even harder. Let's see what, what does that look like. Nope. All right. Well, anyways, stay tuned for that cool live stream later. It's gonna be fantastic. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. A long time. Get a Balgorn. Get a freaking Balgorn right now. Okay. Randy out. Peace.